6. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lance Fieser. And I'm Amber Noggle. Tonight, recovering nearly $4 million in taxpayer money is the target of a state agency. And Tony Galley reports on ramped up efforts to hold businesses accountable for repayment of overdue state loans. Tech firm Medical Engineering Innovations operates in this Eastside Madison building and boasts of its production of cutting edge surgical devices. But officials say the company owes the state over $500,000. Records show the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation filed just two lawsuits in two years over bad loans. But since more manageable pandemic conditions, medical engineering innovations and 13 others have been sued over nearly $4 million. Firm Rehab Pulse is facing a state demand of over 400000 we came here to Middleton to try to talk to representatives of that firm that's facing a more than $400,000 legal judgment to gauge their intentions. What we found is that a new tech company has taken their place. It's unclear if Rehab Pulse is even still operating. Wind turbines are many places, but none are being produced any longer by Renewagy with the state wanting $135,000 from its owners. The company's attorney argues the loan should be forgiven, given critical tax credits, incentives, and rebates disappeared during the years of former Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. State officials say these lawsuits are a last resort to try to recoup taxpayer money and replenish efforts to incentivize the state's economy. Tony Galley, 27 News. None of the representatives of sued companies we reached out to got back to us. Even with court judgments, state officials face challenges collecting on these loans when companies fold or lack assets.